Here is the Zebra ZP450. It's a thermal printer. And you can see I have a massive roll of labels here that's way too big for the printer. Um, this one takes smaller rolls of, label, of labels. Or, like this, you can get the fan fold and feed it from the back. There's a little slot back here. Feeds straight through. Fan fold is where the labels are stacked back and forth in a fan. They're not on a core at all. Anyway, it's a super simple printer. Works really well. And it um, just has one button there to feed through these. Open it up. Anyway, I got a label ready to print. You can see how fast this thing works. There we go. And yep, send to the printer. And it's thinking about it. And here it goes. Comes out super quick. And just lift it up and put it on your shipment. So anyway, I got this uh, connected to the computer just through USB. Let me uh, unhook it and show you a little bit more. Okay, now I gotta do these two handed. You see these two tabs, one there and there, the turquoise ones? There we go. Open it up, show you inside. You can see the labels are just come straight through. Let me pull them out now. You can take a look at it. There's the uh, print head. Right there, here's the bottom roller. That shows you how you can feed them through. Two ways of doing it. It doesn't show you fan fold there, but uh, it works anyway. So um, these are the tabs, except the it looks like a one inch core labels there. And I'll show you the back. Okay, so there's the specs. I don't know why the guy we bought it from scratched everything off. It looks like it was done on purpose. Doesn't really matter. And you can see it has these old ports, but there's the USB. And the power supply, it's interesting. You have this plug, which is the Mickey Mouse here, that you can get on eBay. And that's just a regular um, plug that goes straight into the wall. The um, supply, the power supply and transformers and all that kind of stuff there that convert it to the right voltage is down here. And then it comes out of that box and into the main unit. It's kind of a weird deal. Uh, and then there's a switch there. Anyway, you can get this for about a hundred bucks. Get it on Amazon or eBay. Amazon will often have um, better prices than eBay on some stuff like this. So it's good to check them out. And obviously a hundred dollars, that's a used price. So, let me see. I don't know if there's a way to detach the bottom. Because I saw one of these, and it looks like a little cleaning card probably slips in there. These are uh, four by six labels that I was feeding through. Yeah, it looks like a separate piece, but it doesn't come off. Oh, here's some specs down there. So it's a two amp. plug that you need. Anyway, that's probably pretty boring for everybody. But, it's a great printer for doing your home business shipments and uh, I'd really recommend it.